Hey guys, it's Brian from Zona Camp and Hike, and today we're reviewing the Yosemite two-person tent from Hike and Bike. It's a backpacking tent, and it's designed to hold two people. And we're gonna open it up, set it up, check it out. It's 88 inches long by 54 inches wide. This tent comes with a rain fly, a footprint, and aluminum alloy poles. It also has an aluminum stake presser so that it eliminates uh, the difficulty of driving your stakes when you're out on the trail. If you're doing the ultralight setup without the rain fly the poles or the footprint, it's gonna run about 3.26 pounds. The full setup without the footprint is going to be about 4.85 pounds. And I know that sounds pretty heavy for a tent, but if there are two people going and you can split that with the footprint, that's about two and a half pounds each for your sleep system. So that's not too bad uh, when, you're, when you're traveling in a duo uh, with somebody that you're sharing with. If you wanna check out the stats, the thread counts, all that stuff, it's in the description. So uh, click that link and then you'll be able to see all the stats for, for it if you're really interested in those things. All right, this is my first time setting up this tent, so let's uh, see how it goes. You know, as I'm getting this set up, I'm going to tell you something that's really important, that we are going to make sure to test these out actually in the field. I'm doing a dry run with this tent right now in the yard just so I know how it sets up and so that we're prepared for when we're out on the trail. I promise you this, every product that we demo is something that we use. We're gonna give you honest and real feedback about how it performs and we're gonna do video out in the field. We're not just gonna do it in the yard. So you're gonna to wanna to subscribe so that you can see the follow-up videos about how it actually performs out on the trail. We've got the stakes here, nice and light, very, very light. And we've got this aluminum stake presser here that fits basically on the top of this so you, you can put more pressure on these without destroying your hands on the trail. <laughs> Boom. So now I've got my buddy Nick here, the the brains behind the operation of Zona <laughs> Zona Camp and Hike. He is the the stat guy and he knows way more about this stuff than I do. So he's he's the pro and I just follow his lead most of the time. So I'm gonna let him take over explaining the rest of this tent. This is my tent, but actually he's got the exact same tent that he uses as well. So uh, here we go. Yeah, so kind of in similar cases, like he was saying, uh, it's a tent that I, I use uh, with my wife and I, and then we're gonna use it with my kids to go some backpacking. Uh, it's nice, it's light, it's convenient. What I really like about it are, are a couple couple good traits is that um, for it being right around a four pound, two person tent, it's got a lot of a lot of conveniences. Uh, one of the special things I like is, is their proprietary stake driver. So you don't have to use your foot or a uh, rock or a hammer to kind of get these in, because these are lightweight, and what's nice about them being lightweight is that they're they're durable to an extent. And um, in some cases, if you're not um, careful with a rock or with your foot, you know these outside edges can kind of bend, uh, which makes it very inconvenient. But again, this proprietary little push that they have makes it really really nice. So you know you can use it in almost any any environment as far as you can get it. Uh, so when I set up this tent, uh, the the vestibule. Really, it's to your discretion. And what I like to do is kind of do one vestibule out and then use the other one as a hook. So we take whichever side I'm gonna use, since it's a, it's a two-person tent, there's vestibules on each side. And just like that, you don't have to hurt your hand. And then you can hook the other one over and then pull it taut on the other side. What's nice about having both the vestibules open is it's gonna help you with some airflow within the tent itself. Uh, there are some little notches within the vestibule itself to help with the airflow, but um, depending on where you're at and everyone kind of familiar with backpacking or tent camping, inside a tent can get hot and stuffy. So by having both vestibules open, it's gonna give you a pocket of air for air to flow in and out the other or vice versa. So let's get another one set up here for us. You know, 
what's nice too about uh, this model, and you can see with some of the other ones is you got these little pull tabs and they click in. And what's nice is that if it's a little loose, you can give it a nice little tug and tighten down the vestibule and the whole rain fly. Keep it nice and snug. You don't want water to build up or drain or top on the sides. You want it just to run nice and smooth off the side of the tent. At least that's my experience. And what's nice about these, again, if you find that you're not too taut enough, you can just pull it out, give it a good pull. And that's it. So another quick note on the vestibule with um, the hiking bike is you have these external tabs here and these ropes that come in. So you can actually really tie it down. So if you're setting up in a campsite that's windy or rainy or the weather just isn't cooperative, we don't want the rain fly to fly off, you can actually have additional tot into the tent, into the rain fly to keep it from going anywhere. So what's cool thing about most of the vestibules you'll come across is they've got some neat little nifty tricks to kind of hold things together. So with this one, give it a little roll, you pull the little retaining tab around and you've got some nice ventilation here with the vestibule open and you've got that nice little pocket here to put your backpacking gear uh, when you're all done ready to rock and roll. So inside, inside we've got a few little nice conveniences that, you know, depending on where you're at, uh, can be great or not. So as I mentioned before, it's a two-person tent, so there are two entryways. You have one here and then, of course, one behind me. And just like with the vestibule, you can roll it, tuck it, and keep it out of your way. If it's a beautiful day and there's no rain or bugs, but there's bugs everywhere. Uh, up on top, you've got a little additional unit here that goes on top. What's nice about this is not only is it a gear holder, but it could work as a diffuser for your headlamp. So if you place the headlamp down, you can get some nice light in there. That worked out fantastic at our most recent backpacking trip here. And there's even a small hook. So if you don't want to use the gear holder, you can hook something right on it, right up there. And on all four corners, there's these cool little pockets right in here. You can throw stuff on the side. Each corner has got a cool little pocket to hold some gear. Now, as a matter of fact, we're going on a family backpacking trip. It's gonna be me, my wife, my two kids, and our two dogs. So what we opted to do is we picked up some extra equipment. We're going to be using our hiking bike, uh, Yosemite, two person. And we went ahead and picked up a Nemo Dragonfly 2. It's that saying you kind of get what you pay for, but as you progressively move forward, you understand the differences in weight. Again, this is just from personal experience, personal perspective. That's about four pounds. This one's about three pounds. And since we're backpacking with my kids who are nine and 12, we wanted to make sure, number one, we got some good equipment that's gonna last us for a long time. And number two, we got equipment that's light enough so if we have to distribute the weight with them, as well as us carry the bulk of it, it'll be easier on them to carry as well. So one of the neat things to talk about between the tents is the backpacking weight ratio. Uh, this two person tent, where the price, it, price value it comes in, puts it almost at five pounds with everything. We're talking the rain fly, the tent, uh, the footprint, and all of the accessories that come with it. And depending on how you wanna carry your weight distribution, you can bring it so you bring just the rain fly, you can bring just the, the uh, uh, footprint, however you wanna do to become a lightweight backpacker, but you've got the diversity. In difference with that, uh, we picked up a Nemo for our family backpacking trip. This full package weight, not including the footprint, is just about three pounds. So there's a significant difference in weight and quality when you're looking at a dollar value in, in comparison to weight. And as you progressively move forward with your backpacking, you're gonna find there the different weight distributions. And just like we're talking with my family backpacking trip with my two kids who are nine and 12, we're gonna be carrying the uh, Yosemite and the Nemo and in order to reduce the carrying weight capacity for our whole family, we didn't want to get one big four person tent. We got two two person tents. The salmon we've been using for a while. The Nemo we're going to use because it's only three pounds, easier for them to carry. And we can even split the pack down, break it in between the two kids, have it easier for them to carry and have more fun on our trip.